those biomolecules needed by all living organisms. They are polymers of amino acids arranged in a linear chain and linked by peptide bonds. Therefore, they are also known as polypeptides. Amino acids that go into the making of proteins can be essential or non-essential. Essential amino acids are found in our diet, while non-essential proteins are synthesized by our body. There are 20 types of amino acids that come together to form proteins, and so they are also known as heteropolymers. In a heteropolymer, there are different types of monomers repeating n number of times. Proteins form very interesting three-dimensional structures. The structure of molecules is depicted differently in different disciplines. In chemistry, structure means the molecular formula. For example, salt is also known as sodium chloride or NaCl, where NaCl is the molecular formula and not the structural formula. On the other hand, organic chemists present a two-dimensional view of molecular structure. For example, in benzene or naphthalene, this structure represents the structural formula, whereas the molecular formula is C6, H6. Physics considers a three-dimensional view of molecular structure. However, biochemists have described the protein structure at four levels. Primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure. Let's learn more about them. The primary structure is the simplest structure which refers to the positional information of amino acids in a protein. Hypothetically, a protein is a thread formed by amino acids where the left end is represented by the first amino acid or the N-terminal amino acid and the right end is represented by the last amino acid or the C-terminal amino acid. The protein thread is represented as a horizontal straight line so that the position of the amino acids can be determined. However, in nature, proteins are not completely straight but are folded in the form of a helix somewhat like a revolving staircase. In the secondary structure, amino acid links get longer and due to the heaviness of the molecule, it tends to bend. This preliminary bending is considered to be the secondary structure. It is either an alpha helix or beta sheets. The third level of protein structure is the tertiary structure. It refers to the three-dimensional structure of the entire polypeptide chain. The function of a protein, except as food, depends on its tertiary structure. If this is disrupted, the protein is said to be denatured and it loses its activity. The fourth level of protein structure is the quaternary structure. This structure is formed by several protein molecules or polypeptides, also known as protein subunits. These subunits are arranged as a linear string of spheres arranged one upon each other in the form of a cube or plate. For example, adult hemoglobin consists of four subunits, two of which are identical to each other. Therefore, Two alpha-type subunits and two beta-type subunits collectively form human hemoglobin. 
Some of the most common proteins we come across are collagen, rubisco, trypsin, insulin, antibodies, receptors, and GLUT4. Let's learn more about each of these proteins. Collagen is the most commonly occurring protein in the animal world. Collagen fiber is generally found in connective tissues and acts as an intercellular ground substance in the space between the cells. On the other hand, ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase or rubisco is the most abundant protein in the whole of the biosphere. It acts as a catalyst during the process of carbon fixation. Trypsin acts as an enzyme and insulin acts as a hormone. Another protein called antibody helps fight infections. Receptor, another protein, helps in sensory reception. While glucose transporter 4 or GLUT4 helps in transporting glucose to the cells. In this manner, various proteins play a vital role for every living organism. The structure of these proteins is crucial in determining their functions.